We're here with Ben. Ben picked me up. We're in Singapore. I just got off the plane. I'm super tired. Ben lost his car. <laughs> ben is an FD driver and Ben is competing FD J1 right now in Japan, but he lives in Singapore and he's got some crazy cars from what I see. We're here for one day. Ben is gonna kind of show us around Singapore. <laughs> I don't know what, what to do around here, but you mentioned something about a yeah. car meet tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready for it, but Apparently, first thing tomorrow, we're going to check out some of the car scene here in Singapore. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Thank you. I haven't been out of the airport in Singapore, so everything's new to me. <laughs> oh! He came with the crown. Sick. Hello! Nice to meet you. Dang. See, we need these tails, the Koki tails. They're oh, yeah. nice. I love it, man. I love these chassis. Love it. I feel like I'm in Japan again. <laughs> We just pulled up to Ben's place. What's going on? <laughs> this is so cool. The trip just keeps getting better. Dude, this garage is so long. What? Seriously, dude, what is this? <laughs> what is going on? Richard didn't say anything about this. He's like, oh yeah, you gotta meet Ben. I'm like, okay. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. I like Ben's style. Oh my gosh, get out of here. This is wild. Casual V-Spec 34. This is cool. This thing is beautiful, man. What's your favorite? You don't have a favorite, huh? Supra, Supra. Supra? Yeah. Well, it's Ben Supra. <laughs> Tag Ben Supra right there. <laughs> You're one of the few people with a Supra in Singapore. Uh, this one's unregistered. Mm. So we gotta wait 35 years. Yeah, you're oh. explaining how it's yeah. really expensive to own a car here yeah. because they're trying to keep the population down, you said? Car population down. Car population down. <laughs> so he was saying like, it, what is it now to have a car? It's like 120 plus thousand Sing dollars. To get a certificate to own a vehicle. Yeah, any car. Any car, yeah. yeah. That's just the certificate price. I didn't know yeah. that about Singapore, but that is pretty <laughs> wild. You have to wait 35. 35 years. So it's worth. But we can bring it home. We just can't drive. You can't home. register, but you yeah. can import it. Okay. Yeah, this is insane. That's the house up there, and you can see people walking <laughs> across the floor. I've never seen a garage this deep. This is pretty mind blowing. I think I might have to steal your idea when I build a house. I like this. This is amazing. But we don't have space like this in Japan. <laughs> I have one of these as well, the Cosmo. But of course, Ben has the 20B version. <laughs> yes, the three rotor. It's such an awkward car, but I love it. That's what makes it so cool. What's your plans with this thing? To me, this is the best Mazda. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, man. It's so clean though, man. And this thing, this has got to be one of my favorites. Do I play GTA? Like, have you played GTA? No. No? No, I haven't. I no. no. I don't play games. I don't have time, man. <laughs> this thing is perfect. This is exactly how I would build one. So clean. Kind of messy, but... It's still <laughs> clean. You know how old this car is, man? <laughs> This is insane. These things he was saying he bought, like, you know, for retail, like 500 bucks a piece. But I can't even tell you how much this collection is probably worth now. <laughs> it's probably insane. He got this for all retail back in the day. So nowadays, this is probably an insane amount. <laughs> wow. Oh, drift? Underground drift? In, in Thailand. Oh, okay. Thailand. Oh. So, I'm going there next week with uh, Fausto and uh, Kanta. Oh, okay. You guys got an event out there? So, there's like four events. Okay. Yeah, four different series. So, uh, you're competing in Japan, you're yeah. competing in Thailand, like just Mostly Asia? Southeast Asia. Southeast yeah. Asia. Okay. This is all new to me. I didn't know all this stuff exists. I need to travel more. <laughs> this thing is crazy. I haven't seen one in person, I don't think. It's a 200 SX. Well, even better, I've never seen an actual 200 SX. This is my first time. Yeah, so Aussie spec S14. What are you doing with this one? I only like the thing because I can't chase it. Let's see Really? That's so funny. Nismo. <laughs> <laughs> 
on and on <laughs> oh my gosh totally something i would have well we got a big day tomorrow so we'll get more into all this later at least i get a little bit of cinematics going but this is unreal really need to get some sleep it's like midnight and we gotta wake up at like seven so we'll see you right in early <laughs> Yeah. We're slowly just gonna see people pull up in their really expensive <laughs> cars in Singapore because every car is expensive here. Yeah. Having to pay like $120,000 just to be able to buy a car out here. Yeah. It's insane. It's bright and early. It's 8 a.m. I'm gonna hibernate when I get back to Japan and sleep for like four days because I'm <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> uh. Well, some cars started showing up. We just ate some breakfast here. It was really good. This is some of the scene here in Singapore. It is actually kind of crazy to see these cars here, knowing how much it costs to actually drive a car here. Honda Voice. I think more cars are going to show up, but it's cool to see different places and their cars are into. The Rocket Bunny 180. That's my style right here. Oh, yeah. It's funny because you look at every single car and just think about how much it costs to own one of these 120 grand 120 grand 120 grand doesn't matter what car it is even this car right here you spend one hundred twenty thousand dollars to <laughs> drive this thing on the streets not including the car costs so that is what is insane it makes you appreciate a lot more of the cars they have out here and how hard it was to get these cars so i'm here with yip and this is his fc and we were just talking about plates and he was explaining how it works. And you see over here, it's like a multicolor plate. This is the classic, what do you guys call it? The classic plate. Classic, classic plate. Classic scheme. classic scheme. So basically, this car is 35 years old. There's a 35 year old rule here. That you can import a car and you only have to pay 10% of that whole like $120,000 yes. it costs for a black plate if you do the classic route. So there's not too many legal cars right now, right? No, not JDM not really. cars yeah. because 35 years is a long time. <laughs> yes, really yeah, so you guys have quite a bit more time to be importing like 32s and that kind of stuff, right? 32s will be valid uh, soon. Can be registered next year and onwards. Oh, okay. So there's a bunch of S13s, 32s, even FDs. So waiting for that for that time. Yeah, so soon though. You guys will be having more and more cars soon. Yes. Yeah. And we are able to park our cars here before registering. So we can import like a Supra now uh, and wait the four years. Yeah. He did mention that you are allowed to store cars here until they are legal. So I guess that's the smartest thing to do. Yeah. So you don't have to pay like the crazy taxes in four years. If We don't know where the market's going to go, but you can buy them now for you know, pretty good price and then store them here until they're able to be registered, which is really cool. Just kind of understanding how it works out here. So you have three different plates. Uh, this is actually the same plate. So you can either choose... Run the yellow plates or the black plates. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's the same plate. Okay, yeah. I see. And then what about white plate? So the front is white and yellow. So that's actually a quote in our system where we can run other black plates or white and yellow. So uh -huh. white and yellow 
it's a homage or like something we kept from our British days. I see. Yeah. So you have a white plate in the front? Yes. I okay, so white and yellow and then black. Okay. It looks more genial. Yeah, I like it. Interesting, man. Can we see the engine? Sure. Oh, okay. They were saying that a lot of the cars here, they have to be pretty much stock, right? Yes. To be legal. Yes. So. This thing is so stock, man. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's very stock. Very stock. <laughs> Everything needs to be certified. So actually, I have a few parts that are illegal and I just got stopped by the police or so. Similar story to the... Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's completely legal. No, but no, it's not. <laughs> it's so, <laughs> I mean, the process, it's always a process with them, like trying to get things legalized. Yeah. And it's sometimes you have to work around. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you guys are making it happen. I'm sure not a lot of these cars are completely stock. Very nice, man. Very nice. I don't even know what this is exactly. It's a crown. It's an old crown. Wow. This is so cool to be driving around out here. You're obviously the only one in Singapore with this car. <laughs> I was explaining how cool that is. In Singapore, the car scene is not that huge. So you can be like the only one owning a certain car. And that's what I like about this place. This thing stuck out to me though. It's so awesome. The process getting this car like registered and everything not that hard i think it was, it was here before okay so, so this was really the this car was already here so cars can be converted from the normal plate to a classic plate after the 35 year mark oh so, even though it was here yes okay i yeah. see but once you do that you cannot daily it anymore i see it's stuck to the classic scheme ah okay interesting and I see there's a bunch of Evos over there. <laughs> is there a lot of Evos here in Singapore? Or because things? of our road tech scheme, so the two liter, up to two liters and just above two liters, that's still affordable. But once you get to the three liter, four liter, five liter, it gets expensive. It gets really expensive. Ah. It's like the exponential curve. I see. So much to learn out here. <laughs> SW20. This is cool. It's a lot to learn. <laughs> So we're here with, what, what was your name again? Johnny. Johnny. Yeah. Johnny is, a, he's a collector and he has two of the six of these that are in Singapore. And he's a real OCD about his cars, he said. But this thing is mint. He also has a NSX with 21,000 kilometers. That's crazy. But as you can see, he takes care of his cars. Hopefully in the future, we can get some cars for you, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it looks like a uh, brand new, <laughs> brand new. I love it. So yeah. all your cars are this condition. Yes, correct. Must yeah. be have to perfect. Yes. I like your style. <laughs> yeah, this see these kind of cars in Japan even are going really expensive. Yeah. You know, you can't find them in this condition. It's yeah. very rare. This thing is uh, literally mint. Yes, I like how particular he is about building his cars. <laughs> So we have Randy here, and you have one of two R32 DTRs here in Singapore. And as you can see, very good style. This thing is so clean. I'm curious to know how much something like this costs here in Singapore. It can't be cheap. How much is something like this worth in Singapore right now? Uh, there's no, don't have a definite value. Oh, so, so clean, man. Yeah. There's both seats. Wow. Everything's brand new. Yeah. You guys build cars really clean out here. LMG T4s with the big brake kit. It's totally clean. What? So is it all full repaint? Yes. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's not stock. <laughs> Your cars are as clean as the country, man. It's so clean out here. Wow. Ooh, these are a nice touch engine bay is all like shaved clean wow and how much power is this thing making now i think close to six 650 650. is this just your weekend car or i saw them drive also yeah weekend car weekend car very nice man this thing is clean never gonna sell it though huh if the offer is right if the <laughs> offer what what we'll offer what would you take for it Seven? Seven hundred thousand? Yeah. Then you would sell it? <laughs> Consider selling it. Wow. What's the 
fun fact of the day. All right, the fun fact of the day is that all S13s in Singapore are all CA18 and they're stuck with the engine because you can't swap it. <laughs> you can't swap it. It's original, so you can't yeah. really complain. Yeah, it's rare. But everyone wants the SR. Yeah. <laughs> it's so rare now, you wouldn't see this. It is rare. Even in Japan, I don't see too many 180 with CA. Yes. You know, all of them are already swapped. Yeah. Or... But it is cool. I actually had one too, the CA. I ended up selling it, but it's still cool to see though because this is what a 180 is, yeah. you know? Rocket Bunny CA, the big brakes. We talk about how expensive it is to own a car here in Singapore, but before, like way back, like this car, for example, has been in Singapore its whole life. And back then, it wasn't as expensive to register cars back then and yeah. be able to drive them. Correct. So they were saying around like $9,000 before. The, yeah, COE has gone down to $9,000, $10,000. It has even gone down to a dollar. A do back, <laughs> yeah, back in 2007 during the financial crisis. It just crashed. Yeah, it crashed. But now after COVID and everything, We're it has forward, just yeah. rocketed. So yeah, is it the highest right now? It is an all-time high now. Okay. I think it just hit 130k. 130k yeah. to be able to drive a car yeah. here. Correct. Wow. Every 10 years, just for that piece of paper to tell you that you have the right to own that car. Wow. Every 10 years, Every you gotta spend years. that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. <laughs> Some cars got lucky and got it registered and legal yes. when it was cheap. Yes. Right. Okay. So not everyone paid that hundred thirty thousand. Let's just make that clear, because I know everyone in the comments are going to be like, "No, I only spent such and such." Yeah. <laughs> but if, as of right now, if you are trying to register a car, then you are going to spend that. Oh my gosh. Have you done it I recently? I you got it at the low cost. Yeah, okay. Low cost. <laughs> what is your low cost? My, uh, my, I didn't pay for this car's one, but I paid for my old car's one, which is McGinn RS. Uh, I paid forty two k for it. Forty two k. Which is still low. It's a bargain, it's like compared to the prices now. Exactly. Yeah. That's so interesting how it works out here. Yeah, I've been noticing everywhere's different, right? <laughs> yeah, but some things I just, I never knew. This thing, it's one of my favorites here. I love the style. This thing is so clean. Hello. Hello, this is the owner. What was your name? William. William. Nice William. to meet you, William. Yes, I love it. Now, how long have you owned this car, William? Two years. Two years. Yeah, this is from Japan. It is so clean. Now these things are getting really expensive as well. But the market for these here, you can't really know the market because you're probably the only one with it. Right. right? right, right. <laughs> so unless you have the intention to sell, yeah. you know, ask for a certain price. Yeah. So currently we are just buying for our own hobby. We are keeping it. So yeah. Unless, I mean, in Singapore, ultimately, if someone gives you an offer that they cannot resist, then you not? sell it. <laughs> <laughs> so you set the market. Price is very sensitive in Singapore, as, as you know, the cars are so expensive. Exactly. So... Even in Japan, these are going up. May I ask how much it costs you to get this car here, total? To be on the road is about almost a hundred thousand dollars. Wow. It seems about normal for a lot of these yeah, cars yeah, yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> Going in. Hi. What was your name? Uh, my name's Warren. Nice to meet you, Warren. Yeah. And this is his FD. Yeah. Oh, we'll get the nice V mount set up. Uh, turbo turbo set up. Very proper, very clean. Yeah. I like it. I was actually talking about pricing here for FDs, and yeah. it is kind of outrageous. So it's like, you want to own one of these or you want a McLaren? You know, it's kind of the same. Something like this is roughly around like 300K worth. It's like driving a supercar, you know? 500 horse, this thing probably feels amazing. <laughs> so is there a lot of shops out here, tuning shops to like, you know, bring your car? Yeah, we do also. You do a lot of the work? Yes. Wow, so you're the mechanic around here. Uh, I'm the owner of the shop. I see. So next time I come to Singapore, can I come to your shop? Sure. Okay, sure. awesome. <laughs> I'm building an R34 now. Right now? Yes, yes. Wow. Yeah. And how many R34s now in Singapore? Uh, I'm not very really sure. I think around nine. Wow, man. Yeah. I would love to come check it out sometime. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's cool. No problem. You did good work, though. Really good work. 
for the Honda boys. This is Ree's EG. Totally my style. I love it. I just bought this um, stencil for the EK uh -huh. and uh, I don't have advent tires yet, so I can't put it on. <laughs> wow. How much is something like this worth in Singapore now? Singapore, uh, people are asking about uh, 70 to 80,000. 70 to 80,000. And you obviously didn't purchase it for that much. I got it in 2019, about 45, right? 45? Yeah. It's, which is still, you know, crazy, but the, but they're going up in price, even in Japan, so don't feel too bad. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter because it's doubled in price since you bought it. I don't think I will set it. Yeah, though. never. Yeah, it's your baby. Look at this wing. I made it myself. You made it yourself. I love EG. I still want one. I, I still do. How's it going, man? I was just checking out your CRX. <laughs> Here it is. It's the most expensive CRX. Uh, yes. <laughs> most expensive CRX in the world. You're the most expensive EG in the yeah. world. Most expensive E36 in the world. <laughs> yes. You guys <laughs> can say that. Yeah. No, this is really cool though, man. I love uh, it. I love the uh, Mugen wheels. I have the original wheel caps just sitting in my door. <laughs> <laughs> How long have those been in there? <laughs> Since I bought the car, the first thing I did was I took them off. Because, hey, no, 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 don't put them in the plastic. Okay, okay, okay. Well, this thing is clean though. Yeah. Look at the roof. <laughs> I love that. Oh, the windows are open, that's why it doesn't pop very much. If you close the windows, you'll come. These tend to go bad. Oh, so, um, like the lifters right now are broken. I've, I I've fixed it before. This is like my third sunroof mechanism. Oh but, my gosh. Uh, we're actually working on 3D printing uh, new lifter solution. I see, I see. Yeah, so there's some, there's some 3D printer options on the market. But yeah, just generally trying to give back to the community as much as I take from it. Yeah, yeah. So the spec of this car is basically a uh, stock engine. Type R exhaust, a mid pipe with a super sprint muffler. Okay. Which is not a very common thing to find yeah, in yeah, Japan, yeah. for example. Yeah. Super sprint. Um, and it's got SIR knuckles uh, with type R brakes, EK9 brakes. Oh, okay. uh, and fuse pads. Okay. Yeah, we've got red shift coilovers, which are like a, a US made uh, BC revalve. I see. Yep. And then uh, FLP shifter, which is also US. They noticed the shifter, yeah. yeah. These, these are not very common but back in the 2000s like this was a very pop one of the more popular shifters the kind of like k-tune hybrid racing yeah, kind of yeah, shifter yeah, yeah. nowadays this yeah. was the thing in the 2000s but I see. they still make it so it's just I was the position like, or is it um, actual like the whole linkage is different no it's like, just the, it's just the position okay but the idea is it's longer at the bottom so it's a short shifter with a long top so the ah. overall throw is about the same as stock i see it's just you can see it's like i see <laughs> it's right there yep like Interesting, that. man. Yeah. I can shoot the engine, big. Yeah, let's see it. <laughs> okay. This is a... It's the D. D series. Yes, it's the D16. The one that the US didn't get. Mm. Well, you kind of got it's it in the like... good D series. Yeah. <laughs> they're all good. They're all yeah, good. They're, all good. they're all good. It's they're Honda, good. man. Yeah. You can't go wrong with Honda. <laughs> well, you can go very wrong with Honda, but like, yeah. <laughs> yeah so this is the Twin Cam D. In Japan, it's the ZC. Yeah, but but we got we got it as a D series. Japan got it as a ZC. Okay, I yeah. see. Mm -hmm. And uh, not as much power as a B series, so 130 horse. Uh, but this car is so light, so. Oh yeah, yeah, under 900. Yeah, it's that's it's crazy, man. It's so chuckable. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this plant is lighter than the B series as well, which makes it quite. I mean, you, you definitely feel the difference at going between like an EF9 and this. Yeah, I mean, it's the, the power to weight ratio is, yeah. you know, in any Honda really, it just yeah. feels good. Like I have an EK9 Type R and that is just, it just feels fast mm -hmm. until you try and race someone, like a turbo like, car, oh, and then no, you're no, like, yeah, mm, uh, I forgot how yeah. slow this car is. <laughs> but when you're by yourself or if you're on the track, it's like, wow, this thing feels good. One thing I always like about the fourth gen is like the visibility out of it. Yeah. They feel very low. Yeah. They feel like glass. Yeah, you sit like on the ground. You get the low max in there too? Yeah, it's a low max with um, these are the zero fighter rails actually. Okay, yeah, I got the same rails. I just need to put them in. But yeah, you're on the floor, bro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That's awesome though. I, know. I always thought, oh, why, do, why does everybody sit so low? And then you sit that way and you're like, oh, I get it. This I like nice. it. Is, yeah, it's like a go kart, nice. you know? Uh, is this original paint too? 
Um, so it's original been. paint coat, but a couple of things have been repainted okay. before. The original. seats always trip me out in these things, man. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think in the US spec car, they didn't get these rear seats at yeah, all, yeah, but yeah. in Japan and Europe. Yeah. Oh, this is a UK spec car. Oh. So it's not an EF, it's actually an ED9. Oh. Yeah. It's exactly the same as the UK spec car, except it has uh, air conditioning. Wow, yeah. that's nice. <laughs> Euro spec marking over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's actually a Civic CRX, and oh. without the hyphen as well. Yeah. Officially, this is a Civic. That's cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. The little things. It's the little you know? things. This badging is also Europe only. 1.6i-6 uh, Yeah, I was looking at that. What so, is that? <laughs> okay, like, so there was an EF8 equivalent okay. in uh, Europe. Uh -huh. It was called the 1.6i-VT. VT okay. VT being VTEC. Oh, so okay, they didn't okay. get an SIR, they got the 1.6i VT. Oh, okay. And um, that eventually became the VTI. Okay. So that's where VTI comes from. It's VT for VTEC and then I for injection. Okay, yeah. I see. And then one more, one more detail that's very cool. <laughs> for sure, because I know Japan, they love they love their valve cover. Yeah. No, no, the, no, gas, the, the gas, gas cap has something on it, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like the only place where they do something with the yeah. gas cap. Look at this. This original sticker. Possible to drive with unleaded or oh, super, super leaded. leaded. Yeah, because <laughs> Europe was the only place that got this car without catalytic converters. Oh. 1991. Wow. No cats. Wow, fun fact. Yeah, so this thing has no cats. You can run leather on it. It's, it's kind of cool. What? <laughs> oh man, yeah. You'll never see this sticker because I don't think you can order it at all. That's the most coolest thing yeah, on this car. I know, I know, I know, I know. I love how you're so passionate about this car. Thanks, man. <laughs> I mean, That's it's, awesome. It's a labor of love. Maybe. That's awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for showing me this, Jim. Yeah, yeah you're very welcome. The uh, most expensive CRX. Oh, no, 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 no. We got an R34 that just showed up. Fooled me. But this is a fully converted GTT to GTR conversion. <laughs> this is the owner. Oh, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. What was your name? Eugene. Eugene. Do you have an RB26 in here now? Or is it no, RB25? Because <laughs> you can't swap the motor. Here. <laughs> are these carbon fenders underneath? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, this is really rare to see here in Singapore. I mean, the value for a GTT is probably insane here yes. too, right? And this is easily a 2 3 k car now. Really? Yeah, even a GTT. Two or three hundred thousand for yeah. a GTT. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is insane. But what can you do, man? That's the market, right? So you did a full GTR wide body, GTR rear bumper, GTR rear tail covers, GTR wing. I mean, it's a full GTR conversion, except the RB25. But to have this in Singapore is actually pretty cool. <laughs> I would totally have one in Singapore. Yeah. Then it's that much cooler. Yeah. It's unobtainium. Nobody's selling them. Nobody's selling them? So is there more GTRs you'd say than GTTs here? I think so. Because if you're going to spend the money, you might as well just get the GTR. I yes. feel like. Not, right? many, well, not many cars survive the series cycle. I just see. back then, they weren't worth much. Uh, so only people like Ben kept his in really good condition. Yeah. So they're yeah, getting very rare here. Yeah. I mean, Ben's is probably worth close to a million dollars, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being my little uh, oh, no helper, problem, dude. No <laughs> just... He's the one introducing me to all the owners. He's like, yeah, I'll bring the owner out. But that was a good little segment of the vlog. I mean, it's great. It's good to share Singapore's car culture. Yeah, yeah. Because we're a really small country. Yeah, and everyone is very nice. Yeah. Everyone is very friendly here. It's such a nice little car community. But I think um, we're going to go explore Singapore a bit more. We'll see where we're going to go next. So. Ben just told me something that we didn't even know about Leah's crown. I didn't crown. know that I had a fridge in my crown. <laughs> There's a fridge back there. We got nice cold coconut water in the AC. Found out, Found out in wow. Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> you need that though, because Singapore is hot all year round. So, thank you. Now we gotta make sure yours works. Hopefully yeah, it works. And it's just so. cold all the time, or is there a button you need to so, like? I think it, it's turned on with the AC. It's just a cooler. Oh, it's just the cooler. Okay, sweet. Thank you. We're just driving through a neighborhood right now. These houses are big though. Like mansions, These huge mansions. It's something you look at and you have big dreams. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Life goals. Life goals, you're gonna pass by a, a goals house. Yeah. Look at this though, I mean, everything here is goals, man. <laughs> not, not goals, but this one's like the end goal. This is the end goal. <laughs> yeah. Like some of these places look like apartments, but they're actually like, is that really a house? Is that necessary? <laughs> totally. <laughs> it's uh, Beverly Hills. It's gotta be expensive, right? 50 mil. 50 mil? Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. 30, 30 to 50 mil. Uh, that's that's still like 40 mil US. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, babe, we can't move here. Um, I need an F40 first. Okay. <laughs> Priorities, you know? Priorities. Priorities. So this yeah. is one house. This is one big house. Oh, what? <laughs> with the Lambo out front with a bald eagle statue. This is all one house from all the way here. Oh my gosh, this place is huge. Is this necessary? They have a guard room. Recognize the oh, <laughs> he has a full Ferrari collection. I can see an F40. Why do you do this to me, Ben? Ferrari oh. Avenue. It, he has so many. It's an F50 too. Go, go. Wash car, wash car. <laughs> you ring it. I'm here to clean your Ferraris. <laughs> wow, he has such a good collection. That is ridiculous. Ah, why'd you show me that, Ben? Crush my dreams. Ah, oh, this is the dream. You weren't lying, Ben. 40, 50, Testarossa. He's got everything. I really just want the bald eagle statue. Wow. I didn't even know supercars, but I know this guy is. He's pretty rich, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But he doesn't have a Supra. He doesn't have a Supra though. <laughs> Lame. <laughs> Pulling up to a garage of one of the boys. Everyone showed up here. I feel weird. I said bye to everyone and then we're all back here. <laughs> and then they'll be at the next place. Yeah. In the next... <laughs> Let's check it out. Yeah, look who it is. Hello. And we ended up at Yip's shop that he just opened up recently. We've got some cool stuff here. I mean, it's, you know, same cars we just checked out, but Got a nice Corolla here. 180 up there. Here's FC. Is this yours too? No, so this is a customer's track car. Customer's track car. So okay. this was used in the F1 for a demo run. Wow, yeah, okay. I love it. The Red Bull EK, yeah. In Singapore, we don't have luxurious space. Yeah. So you, in Singapore, you see shops that are built up vertically. Ah, so we okay. have a two-level shop. Okay. So this is the detailing studio. And I love this it. Is the service group. Awesome. I love the 180. Is that yours? No, that's customers. Customers? It's a 200 SX. Yes. The <laughs> boys pulled up. track. I'm not ready to do this to your UK. <laughs> this is really nice though. I it is it. cool. You do this to a car that is not as clean as yours obviously <laughs> but it would be cool to have like a full tracked out EK. He said that you can't drive this car on the, on the road, street. Yeah. On the street. Um, yeah. So I was like oh so what is it registered as? And he said it's registered as a track car. So I was like oh you guys have a track here? He's like no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they hold F1. In Malaysia. No, they hold, they're holding one in Singapore at the next event next week. I'm assuming they do it here, but I think they closed the street down for the F1. Yeah, I think so. Is that what you guys do out here? They close the street down and make yes. like a course. Yeah, so I see. the entire Marina Bay area is closed down during the race and they would barricade up with like concrete barriers. Wow, yeah. and, and they the make whole, the full course. Yeah, the whole area becomes like a grandstand. It's kind of like Long Beach, how they do it. Yes. They kind of like block areas off yeah. and they make it, yeah. Exactly. Wow. They even what they do is they also contract out, they'll book out hotel rooms around yeah, the yeah. course and they would like private viewing. Yep, yep. Airport. Same thing as like Vegas. Yes. Las Vegas, exactly, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's cheaper awesome. Than, it's cheaper than Vegas. It's cheaper than Vegas. Do you want to see a $200,000 Corolla? $200,000 yeah. Corolla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever seen a, a $200,000 Corolla? $200,000 for this. Wow, that is crazy. It is really clean though. But I can't tell you that I would ever spend $200,000. No, I don't think anyone did. <laughs> wow, it's so clean though. Is this a full carbon dash or cover? It's an, it's an overlay. Okay. It's an overlay. Wow, it's so minty in here though. Did you see it's minty? But this car is actually in here. Preparing for full restoration. So we're shipping the entire car down. No and way. It back to its original state. It wasn't clean enough, apparently. What? Yeah, I noticed in Singapore they like to keep their cars really clean. That's why the country's really clean. Yeah. <laughs> the $200,000 is pretty outrageous. 
But if you have the money, I guess, you know, why not? So upstairs is where we keep the like the red pots and oh. for restoration. Okay, yeah. so that's what Yip does here at the shop. They restore cars. And honestly, this car doesn't need restoration. <laughs> but yeah, let's check that out. Yeah, I like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. This is, oh, there's AC. It's nice. This little office area here. And I'm assuming that's the room with all yeah. the air stuff in it. So the shop, you can tell where our priorities are. You think our cars look really good, but upstairs it's it's the shop secondary. <laughs> well, you just opened up not too long ago. Yeah, right. right. So, so we're still waiting for stuff stuff to be finished. And you said you studied architecture as well. Yes, I did. So Indeed. you designed the whole layout of the yes. shop. Yeah, awesome, right? <laughs> so these are the rare parts you're talking about. So this so, is the most of the stuff that's going to be going yes. into that. So if you know the initial spec, uh, uh, A86, they came with the brown and red interior. Ah, so this, these are the stuff that has been discontinued and you cannot get these parts anymore. This isn't reupholstered? This is reupholstered. Okay, I was going to say, where did you get that? <laughs> so it's reupholstered, but this is the original color scheme. Yes, so it took us a few months to formulate and find the exact material that Toyota ah. used. So if you, can, if you really look close, the green of the fabric is actually exactly the same as the original one. Mm. So this is the fabric. Yeah. You guys found it. Yeah. <laughs> This is all original parts that you no, guys sourced these, out? These are all refurbished because the brown interior oh, is very rare. Again. Okay. So I had to find and restore all the parts. Meaning that you got these painted. Yes. They're so all painted. These are special plastic paint because the normal paint wouldn't adhere to the plastic. Yeah. Well. So we, we try and make, uh, match the exact color. So some of these pieces are original brown oh. and some of these are painted. Oh, okay. So you were you were able to source at least a couple pieces that yes. were original. Yes. Okay. Wow. So this is a piece by Tech Arts actually. Oh, okay. The Tech Arts cover. Yeah. I have a whole bunch cool. of Tech Arts stuff because I made friends with Kamata San. Oh, nice, nice. That's, that's, that's awesome, man. A bunch of stuff. <laughs> man, this is crazy though. You guys are doing it legit though. I, I would like to do that. Yeah. Uh, nobody does that in Singapore. Yeah, that's how you're going to stick out here, I guess, right? Yeah. I can't wait to see the finished product. You got to yeah. update me on it. Yes. Can come back to Singapore? <laughs> yes, I will be back. Yeah. <laughs> I love the Moon Eyes trash can, though. Yes. <laughs> well, when I come back, I'm sure you'll have a lot of changes around Definitely. the shop, right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for the little tour. Oh, this is a cool view from the window here. Uh, I want a shop so bad. <laughs> I've checked out so many shops. Check this beer out. It's probably the best beer in the world. <laughs> and this is, uh, what is it? Carlsberg. Yeah. Oh. Carlsberg, and this is a local beer. Yeah, yeah. it's a local beer. <laughs> Thank you. I get to try Singapore beer. First time ever. Cars, beers. <laughs> so this is an engine from somewhere in Japan. Okay. That's what, what I've been told. Mm. Um, but it's quite different. Uh, it has tiny bit of top like compared to your other 13 Bs. Uh, still NA though. Still NA, yeah. Okay. So I've never diagnosed this, but it's been doing me like real solid. It feels good. Yeah, the response in this is quite different to other RX-8s. Yeah, oh. uh, and it's very, it's very high response. To be completely honest with you, I was never an RX-8 fan uh -huh. until I saw like Mad Mike's RX-8 oh, and cool. I was like, oh my gosh, these things can look amazing. And yeah. dude, you did a really good job <laughs> styling this car. It is very well done. Are you probably the only one with an RX-8 right now in Singapore? Or is um, there a, a few. Okay, it's just um, rotaries in Singapore. If you know the Singapore tech structure, yeah. rotaries are like a cheetah kind of chassis. Yeah, yeah. Because we have like a 1.3 liter engine, right? Exactly. So the tech is really... So good. cheap. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of rotaries survive the tech cycles. I see. Yeah, so for Series 1, the pre -phase lift, um, not so many. The truly unique part about this car is the way it drives. Yeah. The chassis balance is like so well. Oh, so amazing. Yeah, yeah. People are running like crazy time, lap time for Tsukuba in this with an NA13B. Really? So I think someone like last month just broke the, uh, someone did a 59.2 in Tsukuba. With the RX-8 NA. Yeah, insane. That is insane. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I've never driven one, so I, I don't know, but I have heard great things about RX-8s. It's not a lot of power in, but it's a lot of driver engagement. It's like Hondas, right? Yeah. Hondas aren't super fast stock, but they feel fast. Power to weight ratio, the way yeah. they handle. I'm assuming same thing with these. It's pure driver engagement. Yes. 
I love it, man. It looks so good. Thank you for showing me. Sure. <laughs> I got stickers from the boys. This is my car. Thank you, man. This is my car. This is, the, this is my old sticker. This is how my car used to look like. Oh, okay. So this is the remodel base. Yeah. This is the original. Yeah. Thank you, man. And I this appreciate is it. just some stickers for the shop. Awesome. And this is a special sticker. So my car actually went viral because uh, when a girl ran past it during a car show, her handbag like ripped off the end plate on my spoiler. No way. Yeah. So this is this. Uh, this Mind is your handbags. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I gotta find that video. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> this is John. Hi there. And he mentioned that he's been watching my videos, which yeah. Thank you so Thank much, you. Jen. I appreciate that. Good video. <laughs> I try. I try. Yeah. But and it's your daughter, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a daughter too? Yeah, she's up there. Yeah, so you know dad life. Yes. Dad life and cars. <laughs> wow. This is insane. Look at this work. I did. Where are you getting this custom made? This fab work from? Uh, Malaysia. Malaysia. The okay. And what do you have done to this thing, man? Literally, it's an aesthetic. It's aesthetic. Because if we do it power wise and everything, it becomes illegal. Yes. Yeah. Everything comes at a price. But it looks so good. You Thank did you. very good. Very good. I pulled my bank account in there. <laughs> I just unzipped it and just let it go. The pockets are empty now. It's pretty much empty. It all comes to the, <laughs> my second wife. I get it, man. I totally get it. This thing is beautiful, though. Wow. Yeah, I really love the engine bay. I think this is my favorite part. Whoa, this airbox is really clean. Is this from Australia? It's like a custom cover. Yeah, you can see the filter right over here. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, I see. And this one, I actually cover it up, but the air goes ah. straight. So, you can want some no more No way, yeah. that's awesome. What the hell? Is it magnetic? No, this is just a plastic cover. That's it. It just clips on. It just clips it on. And they don't make it anymore. They don't produce it anymore. Discontinued. Discontinued. Yeah. <laughs> EGR, they should make more. Hey. This is a brand. That's cool. EGR, there you go. If you yeah. see this video. <laughs> They're never going to see this video. <laughs> so you just need to produce your own. <laughs> it's a way to make money. Like you. I can't afford to live in Singapore, that's oh. for sure. No, you just sell a couple of R34s. You just sold yours. <laughs> Jeez, you get the intake manifold on there. Yeah, that's that's the ARC. automatic brand, there's Kansai. That's one thing I need to do more is make very nice engine bays. You have too many cars. Too many cars, I don't have time and money to build stuff. Like, even just do little stuff like this. Start with the Ferrari or NSX 180? Maybe, maybe, but you know what? I sell my cars before I can actually fix them up. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the Civic. The Civic is the, the keeper, right? Yes, so maybe the Civic. Civic. Maybe we can work on piping that one. Piping first. Yes. <laughs> what is an Evo going for nowadays in Singapore? 120 grand US. 120 grand US. Yeah, it's average. What? Goes up and down. Because of the certificate <laughs> yep. of entitlement. Exactly. I've been that's hearing the, a lot about that. That's yes. It's, it's not the actual cars that cost a lot. It's the 10, 10 year paper that costs uh, 95 grand now. Yeah, it's. I can't believe it, man. It's only I, for 10 years. Yeah, and you have to redo it, right? They were saying it's up to 130,000. Yes, it's coming right up. That is Isn't insane. Fantastic. You registered, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> you registered yours when it was a bit cheaper, though, right? 50 grand? 50 grand. Yeah, 50 grand US. So now it's double of it. Yeah. Wow. And it's still going up. You guys are crazy. You yeah. must love cars. <laughs> I'm regretting it. You're regretting it. <laughs> It's not a good thing to, to have it in this Yeah, life. but you know what? A lot of these cars, I've been talking to a lot of people, it's a great investment because it seems like everything is going up in value. Up in value. Right. You didn't make a bad decision. It's an investment. It's Put it that way. But would I be selling it? That's another thing. <laughs> You're not going to sell it. It's like a forever car for me. Yeah. So I'm sorry to tell you, you, you lost your money. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Down the hole. <laughs> Us car guys, we understand that though. I love it. Everyone's so friendly here. You gotta love Singapore. You want us to sign the door. Yeah. First signature. Yeah, first signature. Oh, this is too much pressure, man. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you can sign too. Okay. Yeah. Just second signature. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take it with you? Yes. What about your signature? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You the shop. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. He's been watching the videos. He came all the way here. Oh, let's get a picture together. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, this is cool. Project Midnight. Honda Boys. Honda Boys. Let's go. I feel the quality. So good. You should ask him this where he makes really it. It's really good quality, cool. man. Velvet inside. Velvet inside. What? Get oh. out. Thanks my new favorite hoodie now, man. Hey. Yeah, can you link me up with um your merch guy? <laughs> <laughs> Early supporters here. That's crazy. Really? Yeah, yeah. I watched like YBN days. First episode. And he blew up because of YBN. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh. that's how it started. And then we meet in Singapore, it's so random. That's super yeah, random. You, you started setting your body kits. Your yeah. small storage space. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. So I really love EK9. Yeah, he you loves your EK9. Oh. You saw it? Huh? You saw it? Yeah. That's, that's her. She can't. I have to mention selling it and she's like, what no. are you saying? No. Just a little taste, right? I'm getting like the 1% of yeah. Singapore's car scene. Yeah. And it's really not enough. 20, 23 hour layover is not enough to capture everything you guys are doing out here. For the most part, I am enjoying everything. This is completely different scene from Indonesia, that's for sure. No motorbikes. <laughs> no, yeah, there's actually no, there's no motorbikes out here. That's for sure. But everything is just so like tidy. But the shops we did visit in Indonesia were very tiny, yeah, they were. you know? But you walk outside the gates and it's like, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot where I was for a second. <laughs> but next five, I think we're just gonna relax for a bit. Yeah, chill, chicken rice. Chicken rice, let's go. <laughs> so this is a famous Singapore dish, right? And it's called Hai... Hainanese chicken rice. Hainanese chicken rice. This is what we tried in the airport. Yes. But this, this is, is the legit. Real deal. Yeah. Yeah. It smells so good. I'm ready for it. Roast chicken. Yeah. Dang, everything looks so white. good. Black and white. That was amazing. You can eat this every day, huh? Yeah. It's so healthy. <laughs> it is. I think it's healthy. <laughs> I think it's healthy. This is your family's restaurant? Yep. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Arrived. We are now being super tourist. Freaking boat on top of the buildings. This is epic. That's a nice restaurant. Wow. The views. Unreal. Gotta love Singapore. Everything's just so nice and clean out here. I love it. Just mentioned that F1 is gonna be held here. You said next week. Yeah, two right? Weeks from now. Two weeks from now. And he was saying it passes through here. And that bridge we were just on, that's part of the track too, so they just close everything down. That's crazy. It's supposed to be a mermaid line? Founders of Singapore, Singapore or something? Singapore or something, or maybe of this facility. So when he came to Singapore, he found a mermaid lion. Something that looks like that. Yeah. He swear he saw one. He swear he saw it, so they came to look for it, but they couldn't find it, but they built the statue anyway. <laughs> Fact check. Yeah. Is that true? It is packed down here. Had to come here though. Check it out. But your mom did design it. Yeah, she did uh, get those. Wow. Concert hall. The concert hall. So that. Awesome. His mom designed. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so crazy. crazy. Architecture is in your blood then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. 
Well, we ended up at the other side now. That's where we just were. There's the lion right there. We're on the other side and we're gonna go to the top up there. That's the boat. Back to the B-roll. So we just tried, um, well, I haven't even tried it yet, but Singapore's Bacha Coffee, very famous, and they have this heavy package. And I was like, what is that? Check it out glass straw and then also they give you sugar if you want to make your coffee sweet yeah. have whipped cream. cream and cream it's cream. only a hundred twenty dollars per coffee uh-huh what <laughs> this is a straw no, this is now that it's cheaper than in starbucks it's cheaper than starbucks and you get to bring home a glass straw wow this is cool look at the receipt it's like you just bought something from like Gucci. Yeah, like Gucci. <laughs> one. Ben, you're supposed to dip that in the coffee. <laughs> there is none. <laughs> this is cool though. We have arrived at the top of this boat. Yeah. <laughs> We're at the top of the boat. What? I thought I'd feel higher, right? Is this your first time up here? Maybe. Maybe. Have you been up here? No, I haven't. No, you haven't? Thank you for bringing us. Yeah, dude, of course. Just showing you around Singapore, you know? Yeah. You guys lived here and like, they're being tourists with me. <laughs> I've only been to Shibuya Sky. <laughs> <laughs> Before here. <laughs> this is cool though. The views are good. We were just down there. There's that spring lion. Is that all smog? No, it's the cloud. It's the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> This was a really cool experience, being able to see everything from so high. Now I kind of understand Singapore a bit better. We have covered quite a bit. Ended up back at Ben's because I wasn't able to film all this stuff. So I was thinking before I go to the airport, I can do a little tour here. This is insane. Can you believe this? <laughs> Let me borrow the room right there and that's what I woke up to. Ben, why do you have so many boxes? Cardboard collector. See, Cardboard collector? Like on the street in Tokyo. You gotta keep the boxes, so you know. If you ever sell them, they're still original packaging. They are, they're all unopened, sealed. These are, really? Yeah, everything's full. So all the ones downstairs are? Open. Open, but I thought these are just the boxes from those. Yeah. Are you serious? So did you design this place? Yeah, I just drew a box. It's just drew a long box. Yeah. They but... wanted like partition walls and stuff. I said no. So they you just made it open. Yeah. I like your style. And then this, this is your idea? Yeah. I wanted a lift here, but I couldn't find a lift guy who could make such a big platform. So temporarily it's just glass. You should keep it like this forever. <laughs> this is, this yeah. is, it's kind of scary actually. First time I walked on it. I was like, can you walk on it? Because I saw everyone like not walking. Like, you don't walk on it. Is it because you want to keep it clean? Walking with socks is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Just a bunch of your feet prints. <laughs> this is the nerd center right here. My favorite part of the house. Totally what I'm going to do when I have my own house. Look, you have more stuff. Oh, those are shoes. This looks expensive. Just this little section right here. 200 bucks for the box from Thailand. Oh, just for the box. Oh, it's yeah. mirrors. Yeah, so Get you get to out. see like sumo power. Dude, I thought this whole time, I thought you had three. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just mirrors. Yeah. What? Yeah, all the decks. What is it, Murakami? Murakami Spring Nara. Check this out though. He's got all the RB26s. You love Yahoo Auction, huh? <laughs> oh, no, I got this from the, the guy who made them. Really? Yeah. So he's the one selling them on Yahoo Auction? Uh, they sold them at like GTR 
festival. Or ah, something. Oh, okay. One, this small festival. They have their own booth. I see. And these are like 200 bucks each or something? 400 maybe. I forgot. Each. Yeah. They're so like detailed. Our friend Adi had one on his desk. I'm like, where did you get that? <laughs> and then you have like five of them. What the? I want a 2J one. You want a 2J one? You got all the all JDM. The, um, dream cards or yes. cards that I have? or written in so these are dream i mean these die casts are pretty expensive per uh, they right? used to be like 100 to 200 each now they're more expensive like, like four or five hundred maybe yeah dang i like your your lego stands yeah so the the wheels don't get flat yeah dude you gotta keep the tire pressure <laughs> 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 this is just like a bunch of random stuff it's larry towing larry is that an F40 down there? Yeah. It's <laughs> so cool. In the Liberty Walks. Yeah. I got all the initial D cars too. I love the, the artwork in here. This is a cool collage. That's Larry's first time in Singapore. Right here? Yeah. I mean, so I beat Larry to the content then. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we really came up here because I needed to ask Ben why he has so many lights. This is from Atsushi Taniguchi, Skebe, Team Skebe D1 Rebel. <laughs> what is that? Oh. He's, he's, he's sponsored by them, so he gives them out to people. <laughs> you, can, you can figure that out <laughs> for yourself. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. These are the most expensive ones. Yeah. Mm. These are the cheap ones. And then they have the circle ones. Yeah. Okay. Which ones can I have been? <laughs> these, <laughs> these, are, these are the special gold editions. <laughs> <laughs> the gold tints, dude, those are good. Dang, custom. They actually look pretty cool on camera. <laughs> oh man. It takes about five years under the sun. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild, what? Where do you get a see-through table? Did you get this custom made? No, so this was the door. This was the door. Because they didn't allow double entry into my house. Ah, so this was the original plan. So it's just a glass window. Nice, and you made a table out of it. And what is this? You see, like supposed to be a bed. Ikea beds from Aziz Corner. I love it, dude. You just like collected so much stuff. <laughs> that's me. Oh, that's you. That's really you. That's my mom. <laughs> Dang, that's cool. So you had to get the die cast. Yeah. Snap on. Damn, let's snap on that. <laughs> what? No way. There's a back entrance to the back room and we end up in the garage, but there's another room in there. And what is this, Ben? It's your airflow. Yeah. And it seals shut? Almost. <laughs> Dang, that's pretty cool. You don't really realize how long this garage is until you're all the way back here. That's 18 cars. 18 cars. That's why I have 18 cars. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, this is, yeah, this is huge. I want the Nismo sign, Ben. Do you want to sell anything? Any, anything else you want to sell? <laughs> you got cop lights. Yeah. You got, you bought actual police lights. Yeah, for the prom. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yahoo Auction? You got it. <laughs> no way. Is all this stuff really just Yahoo Auction? Yeah. Dang, man. Fine. 
That's so cool. The Nismo, I need that. I need this. What is that, the police. double? Well, the police car. So that both policemen can see the back. Get out. That's for Crown, JZS 171. You're putting all this on the Crown? Because yeah. the Crown was a police car. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. I got the small one, the pet light, small <laughs> police car light. That's so good. I can hang out here all day, but unfortunately, I'm leaving in like 30 minutes. So I just wanted to show one last room. Oh, this is cool. It's the aerial view. I don't know, I stole the map like the first time when I was there. That's cool to have. Is this Mad Mike? Yeah, of course, good luck from him. <laughs> that's cool. Now that's your good buddy. <laughs> this is pretty interesting. Super thick wall. So Singapore, you have to have a bomb shelter by law. So that's why you see super thick walls, thick, crazy door with studs in it, little air vent. Interesting. There's an upstairs too? Oh, that's where I sleep. That's your room? Yeah. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask, where do you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> this is your room? Yeah, and it's a loft. Yeah, this is too cool. This is where I'm gonna start editing videos. I'm actually moving in, man, I didn't tell you yet. <laughs> Collect too much stuff, dude. You're like me on steroids. All the cooler color stuff, they're all fakes. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way you have anything <laughs> fake, dude. That's what people will say. This is so much money. I mean, people who don't really know about bear bricks and like yeah. this kind of stuff, they don't understand how expensive yeah. some of this stuff is, you know, but yeah. This is my mom. Oh, we were just talking about this earlier. He didn't believe that his mom had a Hachi and she did. <laughs> what, this was hers? Yeah. Dude, it had wheels and everything, it's kitted. That's cool. This is way too cool, man. More stuff. Even so she was into cars. Yeah, she had a Supra. What? No. MK3, you said, yeah? Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> That is epic, dude. <laughs> it's in your blood, man. This is our trash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is this the parts room? Yeah. There's so many transmissions. What's going on? So this is Ben's up garage. <laughs> Everything's for sale. The back garage. <laughs> Pause the video and offer me a price. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? We're just getting bigger and... Oh my gosh. This house is huge. You have a you have a rooftop too? You live the life, Ben. <laughs> this is amazing. I told Ben that I'm stealing his floor plan and I'm making a replica. It's just a box. It's just a box. <laughs> I'm making a replica of your box. It's a few boxes. <laughs> a few doors. It's so days. good though, man. You did really well designing this place. I just kinda helped you clean up your room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the Asus, the ROG. Oh, yes. We were just talking about this. Mm. This really is what he thing. uses for his simulator for drifting. You don't need a big, crazy computer, so I'm actually going to buy one of these. Yeah. So when I do, we'll do a video on this. Yep. That's how you get better at drifting, right? Sim. Cheapest way. <laughs> Cheapest way to get better at drifting. This whole time, I never even knew Ben is a Formula Drift driver, and he's been <laughs> driving for how many years? 13? 13 years. Yeah. Same as me, but you, you went places and I'm still driving a 300 horsepower we S15. Met in <laughs> yeah, we met in Ibisu, but not officially. Yeah. We met in a tandem train. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, man. Yeah. But thank you so much for showing me your epic house, and I will be back okay. soon. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta head to the airport, but um, probably gonna play some video games first before I, I leave. We'll see you guys at the airport. This is the Airbnb that we stayed in. <laughs> the Ben B&B. It's just the overflow room where he lets everyone crash. And we have one thing to do before we leave. We got a sign. Cool guys. Cool. Sorry for ruining your door, Ben. <laughs> Thank you for letting me. <laughs> Thank you for the five stars. Yeah, five star review, dude. <laughs> we enjoyed the stay. What an awesome experience. Bye, Bear Bricks. Bye, Dream Garage. Oh, I'm gonna miss this. Have to come back here. What an epic experience. Look how clean this thing is. What? Is this? I know, but is this seriously all original? 
the seats that we had. Okay, I was gonna say, this is not original, no way. It's so clean. I love how you just drive this thing around. Yeah, it's my daily. <laughs> it's the daily. Yeah. Really? I only had one top. Yep, actually drove this thing to Thailand. 4,000 kilometer round trip. Made it, no problem. No, my bank has problems. <laughs> Your bank has problems. Oh, see ya. Get in here. Can we fit? We arrived. So cool how you have just dailies that. The RX-7. Your hazards are on. Why did that happen? <laughs> there, it's off. How? What? Must be alarm. Before I leave, one more signature. Okay. Every time I do that, I feel terrible. I know. We out. Find my car. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Yeah. What? Yeah. You can find your car. This is the coolest thing. 69. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> what? That is really interesting. All right, we pull up at the airport and we're about to say bye. And it just turns into a freaking amusement park out here. What's going on? Look at this. It's so cool here, too. They got a train coming. What is going on? Really? Wow, I'm freaking flabbergasted. Holy, what? What? <laughs> this is crazy. You pass this going to different terminals, so that's the train you have to take. How cool is Singapore's airport? This is it. We're leaving. Bye. Thank you, guys. We'll see ya. <laughs>